Hi everyone, Alex Tupono here, and I'm gonna review Heaven is for Real. And um, this might shock some people, but I actually like this movie. Now, I'm not a religious person, I, I'll admit it on camera, I don't go to church, but I thought this was a well made movie. I mean, the story, it's based, you know, supposedly on a true story, uh, but to me, that really doesn't matter because I thought it was a well-made movie anyway. So, um, oh, it's based on a true story, based on a book, based on a movie. Life, uh, book, movie, whatever. Uh, anyway, um, I haven't read the book. I didn't know there was a book, but, uh, uh, to pretty much, you know, um, the movie stars Greg Kinnear as, you know, he's the local pastor. Of, of the church in his little town, and uh, I mean, uh, he goes through some bad stuff in his life. Uh, you know, he gets hurt after playing softball, and then he gets kidney stones. He has to pass. Uh, he has to pass them through, which I thought that was kind of weird because uh, I I don't know what really does that. I guess you could say. Uh, it's easier for him to go through something than his son. I'm not sure. I I don't think that the movie really needed it, but I guess it was there for just character development, I guess. But uh, that's pretty much like the first 20 minutes of the movie. Afterwards, and then you get you know your real story, your main story, uh, where you know his son and his daughter get sick. His daughter, you know, she gets better. Uh, his son gets worse. They get taken to the hospital. They have to uh, perform surgery on him, and the, and the doctor say, doctor say, uh, they tell the parents, uh, it's not looking good. He could pass away. And uh, Greg Kinnear's wife, played by played by Kelly Riley, who was in Eden Lake. Uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> I won't go there today, but um, she did a good job. You know, uh, she's calling you know, friends and family to pray for her son. And, um, you know, this could be the end for him. And you have Greg Kinnear in another room. He's praying to God, don't take my son away, don't take my son away. And I thought it was really well acted, really well done. And I was invested. And then, you know, uh, operation goes well. Kid's fine. They take him home, and then all of a sudden, he tells his dad, "I saw heaven. I saw the angels uh, sing to me. I saw Jesus. Uh, I saw pretty much, you know, heaven. And, you know, uh, and he, 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 you know, and then he tells him, I saw you. I saw myself in the hospital bed. The doctors performing on me." I saw you praying to God. I saw mom uh, talking on the phone, telling, ta calling everybody. You know, there's no way he can know of this. And uh, and the 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 actor who plays the son, little boy, he's only four years old. He did a really good job um, acting wise, and he he, uh, he really sells it as the kid who's telling the truth in the movie. Um, you know, Greg Kinnear is in shock. He doesn't know what to do. Should he tell people? He tells, you know, he tells his wife. She's unsure of it. You know, they have, you know, they have conflict within the family. Uh, and, you know, l later in the movie, uh, word, uh, the word spreads that, uh, you know, this kid saying that he saw heaven. Many people don't believe him. Few people make fun of them. Uh, there's a scene where uh, some kids at the school are making fun of. Where they're, uh, they're making fun of the of, of a sister. Saying, "Hey, your your little brother uh, did he sit uh this did he sit uh Jesus lap blah blah whatever uh, uh, some bad dialogue but a uh, uh, typical bully dialogue I guess. But then she punches them for the bullying like yes. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> uh, but, uh, 
they deserved it. Uh, but, uh, you know, uh, she's just, you know, defending her brother. Which the sister would, what a big your sister should do anyway. Older sister should protect her little brother. Uh, from jerks. But, uh, yeah, and the, the, church, the church members are unsure of what to think of it. Uh, you know, uh, Greg Kinnear, he, he, you know, he tells his, his friend, uh, play, play by Tom Hayden Church. Which, uh, if anyone knows me, I'm not the biggest Thomas Hayden Church fan. Uh, his last name is Church. I guess that's why they got him for this movie. But, I, he's, he's alright. He's serviceable. You know? Um... Uh, there's a really, really nice scene where uh, a friend of the family's, a uh, friend, of, you know, Greg Kinnear and his, and, and his wife's, you know, their friend at the church tells them she didn't believe them. She, t she took it really hard with their news because her son died and she felt, why couldn't God, why did God take my son away and not yours? And that's why she felt she didn't believe them or she she showed hostility towards them. Uh, but, um, and that was a really well done scene. Uh, it felt, to me, it felt, the acting, the performances felt believable. That's the thing. That's really, that's really impressed me with the film. The scenes felt believable. Um, and, um, I, uh, they, they tell the story. I mean, I don't, I don't know if this is a spoiler or not because it's not really. I mean, it, this is uh, uh, this is something that was brought up in the news anyway, so I can't say it. it's not spoiler. I think it's not spoilers in the movie, but uh, um, you know, they tell the you know they tell the story to the news. It spreads and uh, and they find out later that a little girl had the same experience this little boy had. And she, she painted an uh, image of Jesus, and it's exactly how the little boy, how he saw it. Um, so, is it true? Maybe I don't know. But what really matters is well, it was a way, it was a well-made movie, despite what it, what my beliefs are on religion. But um, um, yeah, I mean, I recommend I. I would definitely recommend it to anyone who's Christian or, you know, believes in the word of the Bible or is a very faith, a person full of faith. I would, I would definitely, I, I think, I, pretty, I, I would say every Christian will love this movie. Um, it's a family film, it's PG, uh, but, um. Uh, yeah, it was good. I, it was. I, I can't. I can't stress that enough. Is it a massive? Is it like a, a great film? No, but it's a nice little drama Christian film. Well, it's well made. It didn't feel cheap, or I didn't feel it was uh, shoving the belief down someone's throat. No, no, like, nothing like that. It was. I felt it was sincere, and I, and that really impressed me. Um. Will I review more uh, of the Christian films or Christian uh, based uh, films uh, um, from this year? Uh, yeah, I'm going to review Noah. I've seen it already. All I'm going to say is this is a lot better. But I'll get to Noah in another review. Uh, Son of God, uh, not really interested. Uh, what more can you say about Jesus? Um, um, and it's just it's just like uh, an episode from that show, The Bible. Just extended, I guess. I don't know. I've not heard anything good from it. Um, God's not dead. Uh, from what I heard, it's going to piss me off. Uh, Exodus... Uh, I wasn't impressed by the trailer, but I could be wrong. I don't know. It's got a good cast, though. I'll say that. Um, but this one, I definitely recommend. Uh, I'm pretty sure I could be wrong, but from all the you know 
Christian based films, I think this one's gonna come up best. If I watch all of them, I doubt I'll watch all of them, but uh, if I do, I think I'll select this one the best. Um, but yeah, those are my thoughts on Heaven is for Real. It is for real, people! Uh, but uh, yeah, I know some people might be shocked by my uh, review, but I, I enjoyed it. What can I say? I'm being honest, people. I'm being honest. Uh, and I'll be honest about Noah because that movie. I'll get into that movie. But. Uh, so, yeah. Um, so, if anyone who's Christian is watching this review, I'll definitely watch God. Not God. Uh, Heaven is for real. Uh, <laughs> okay. Adios.